All right, guys, so for the month of June, we are going to be doing things a little bit different. June is very special month. It is Black History Month part two for me. This is the month of Juneteenth. This is also my birthday month because my birthday is Juneteenth. So this year for Juneteenth slash my birthday, I'm going to be giving you guys a little bit more information about my black history, where I'm from, where I've been, and where I'm going. So every Sunday, you can stop by and learn a little bit more about me outside of what you see on social media. So in this very first video, I thought I'd take you all the way back to my roots, my hometown of Prentice, Mississippi. Yes, a very small town in southern Mississippi, where it all began where it all started so i hope you enjoy the funny thing is that when i'm traveling abroad and i tell people where i'm from they're usually very shocked <laughs> so um, i actually moved abroad from atlanta but when i realized how shocked people were to find out that i'm actually from mississippi i just start saying you know mississippi where'd you come here from mississippi you know, because, you know, it's important that representation, it, we're represented. Representation does matter. I'm very proud to say that I'm from Mississippi and I'm very happy that more people around the world are getting a different idea of what Mississippi looks like and the people who come from Mississippi. So I'm glad to be a part of that. And that's why I, another reason why I want to share my hometown, my home state where I'm from. To give people a different idea, a different perspective other than what they have read about in olden days or seen on TV, um, the olden <laughs> themed movies and such. So I hope this is educational for you. I hope this is, um, you know, enlightening for you as well.
coaching now is well it was the elementary school when I went here this was my elementary school here I think now it's called J.E. Johnson Head Start oh wow so this is the Head Start now when I was a kid this was my elementary school I went to first through sixth grade here the school was named after Mr. Brister. Coach Brister was a coach when I was in school. He was also a coach when my mom was in school. Wow, so this is a new head start. Interesting. This place used to be so big when I was in school. I felt like it was huge. And we would go inside the building. Right here, this is where we would enter. Oh, it's free Wi-Fi. Need some update. COVID done took over. And at the end of the day, we'll exit down here. I think, well, depending on what grade you're in. But yeah, y'all, this was my elementary school. Wow. So now it's Head Start. Hmm. When I was a student here, it was called Prentice Elementary School. And then it became J.E. Johnson um, Elementary School. And now it's the freaking J.E. Johnson Head Start. So much has changed. You know, uh, I'm big on change. I think change is good, but sometimes when you, when you have an emotional tie to places and it changes, it makes you feel some kind of way. And I feel some kind of way. I do, but I'll get over it. Over here, this was Head Start. What is it now? It's probably nothing now. Cafeteria. It's nothing now. Oh, let me turn around. Look out there. The buildings. I have a very faint memory of walking out of those doors over there as a little girl after graduating from Head Start. Very faint memory of it. Yeah. So it's a faint memory, but a memory yet and still. Walking out of those doors after graduating Head Start. And Head Start is like, um, I guess it would be the equivalent of pre-K Head Start year two. Because Head Start, you go for two years. Um, and then your second year you graduate, it will be the equivalent to pre-kindergarten in, in many states. Um, yeah. Wow. It's amazing all these empty buildings and places that they have here that could be put to use for something else. Maybe like a kids center, you know, like a community program center or something like that. Just a lot of old buildings kind of going to waste. I need to look into um, properties here and doing, doing some um, investing. Hmm, maybe that's something I can do while I'm here because right now I'm in a, in a, I have a growth mindset. I want to say I'm, I'm entering, not entering, I think I've had a growth mindset for a long time, child, but I'm really starting to really doubt, dive into that growth mindset. It's been idle for a little while. It's time to awaken that energy starting with the hometown. Wow. Now let's go check out the high school, shall we? construction site do not enter dang they turn the school down gee whiz I can't go in oh I don't know how I feel about a lot of this oh well this is my high school this is the high school that I graduated from this part right here that you see was new. Um, when I entered high school, they had torn down the old school and rebuilt it to look like this. And it looks like they're rebuilding something else. So this side is the high school and that side over there is the junior high school. I'm gonna see if I can pull up there. 
all right so it's blocked off as well but this side was the junior high school actually when i was in school this front side right here was kindergarten this whole front side right here all these classrooms were kindergarten but on the other side you have another building and that was the junior high school that whole hall back there was grades um seven and eight when I was in school. I think later they moved the sixth grade over to the junior high school. And junior high school is kind of like middle school, except it's a lower population. You have to have, I think you have to have a certain number of students for it to be considered middle school. Um, so yeah, so at the back back there, that hallway, if you can see that hallway right over there, that building, it's a long building that goes all the way down. But that's the jun that was the junior high school and this front building right here all these classrooms were kindergarten when i was in school that's where i went to kindergarten but now the whole thing is now um the elementary school they've changed it to elementary school since the schools combined yeah all the memories during cheerleading practice we used to have cheer practice back here this playground wasn't here because of course it was not for kids. We were in high school and junior high school at the time. But yeah, you see the football field back there. I don't know if you can see the football field, but there's a football field back there. Um, my cheer days were spent around that football field cheering, cheering my heart out. Yes, I was. But yeah, but this is the back, that building, um, that entrance there, that's the, the junior high school hall, the end of it. And now I'm at, after school, we come out here and have cheer practice when it was, you know, hot. During winter times, we would practice in the gym. But all of this grass out here, we practice stunts and doing stuff like that. Oh my goodness. I'm gonna have to visit um, one of the football games of the new school one day if I'm ever home when they are in season because I'm only usually here in July or August or July and August. But I have to be back in work at the um, in Dubai um, in August at some point. And this was the alternative school, this little white house right here. Oh, This little white house here was the alternative school. So now it's the Department of Information Technology. Oh, I wonder if I can drive off. I'm gonna drive off in there, y'all. So right over here is the, um, where the guys used to, what's it called? I guess it's like a locker room where the football players go, but they have like the weight room and all that. Weight room. Yeah, we'll call it the weight room. But that's also where the football team would go to after the games and they would run, you know, the little, I don't know what they call it, y'all. The dog house is what I remember it as, but you know, it's where the football players go, you know, after they run off the field and go huddle with the team. Yeah, 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 you get it. But anyways, but this is the entrance to the football field. And this was the ticket hub where you go to purchase your ticket for the football game. Then you go hang out. Oh, the bleachers, the good old days. Oh my goodness, I used to be cheering right down there. And the restaurant, I didn't like to use the restroom though, child. Oh my goodness. So this is where the this is the concession stand. This wasn't here before because we used to be behind here, y'all. The band used to be in the bleachers playing, and everybody be behind the band dancing, just getting it. You hear me? Just getting it. Oh, I wish. I wish. I wish. I wish we had video of those times. <laughs> oh, all right. So this is where I went to high school. This is the other side leads into the actual high school. So we couldn't go into the other side. Um, for obvious reasons it was construction going on but this is the other side and as you can see here this was the band hall i'm not sure what it is now but it's the band hall oh yeah then this big building right here is the gymnasium where i used to play basketball i wonder if i can go in my picture my um, team pictures on the wall y'all and yes our school is right by a cemetery okay yeah <laughs> is that my old basketball coach I don't know who, no, I don't know who that is. Oh no, that's a child. I don't know who that is. But this is all my old school. Let me turn around. Oh, uh, that's why I was part of um 
FFA, Future Farmers of America. I was the, was I the president or the vice president? I held the position, child, but all the agricultural stuff was back there. I didn't do Votech. I did that instead. Because ain't nobody got time to get on the bus driving all the way to Carson every day. So next place I want to stop at, y'all, is the projects. The projects used to be so big to me. I used to, we used to live in the projects when I was younger. My parents and I. And then later, later on in life, my grandmother moved there. And so we were still here. But y'all look at the projects. It used to be so much going on here. We stayed over there in that last one when I was a kid. Oh my goodness. And my grandmother stayed on this side later on after we moved out. My mom got her house down in one of those. Oh my God, it's so empty. It's so empty, y'all. Like, I wonder if it's, I don't, it ain't like it used to be, I'm sure. But it used to be like busy, busy all the time. Now it's empty, empty. And that might be a good thing. You know, I maybe I need to do a story time about the time that I robbed the projects. <laughs> Call me Robin Hood. That's how I was robbing the hood. <laughs> I'm gonna have to. I'm gonna, I'm gonna have to tell y'all about that one day. Yeah. The statute of limitations has run out at this point. I'm sure. At least I hope so. Guys, so we are back home. That's a tour of my city. A very brief, a very quick tour of the um, of the city area. Um, so as far as home, you got to go a little bit deeper, a little bit deeper outside of the city to get to the crazy ups. But I ain't going to tell you what I'm about to live, okay? <laughs> Alright, so go ahead, like, share, comment, and subscribe, y'all. Join the tribe. Wow, I feel like we're closer now that you know a little bit about me and where I'm from, where I went to school. We're almost family. We're practically family. Go ahead and subscribe and we will be family. <laughs> As always, this is your girl L just living. Love you bunches. Bye-bye. Mm -hmm.